Ahoy hoy, Tricky Luggers! How's it going? Happy Wednesday to you. Hope everybody's having a, a good Wednesday and a good uh, good week so far. So you'll notice Richard is not here at the moment. He'll be back. He got a, a work call like like literally like five minutes before we were supposed to go on. So eh, what are you going to do? Uh, but he'll be back with us eventually. Uh, so, I hope, uh, gosh, what's everybody up to? Let's see, um, I've got, sorry, I'm gonna tuck down this brightness a little bit there. I was like shining, whew, shining through. <laughs> and I'm going to have a little sip of coffee here. Hey, how's it going, Brett? That's cool. I, I think mm. So, golly, what have we got, to, what have we got to go on today? See, it's weird. I wasn't used, I wasn't ready for him to not be here. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to dig through here because, of course, I forgot. I did all the one, I did everything that I was supposed to do to get ready for the show today, except for choosing a pin, which I have now grabbed one, so it should be good. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and, why don't I just go ahead and share my pin now. Now, this one isn't actually a Disney pin. This is a pin that was sent to me uh, by, by Wilfred. Um, in uh, back in October, and I love this pin so much, and um, I'm super excited to wear it. So I, I figure I have my I've got my Lego T-shirt on today. You can see that it's so cold in my house. I've got a Union suit on. It's true. Look, I've got a full on. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. I've got the full Union suit on right now. Um, uh, so let's see. I'm gonna try and show this without it focusing on something else, and we'll see. Richard's usually better than this than I am. Here we go. It's a heart in a jar with flowers blooming out of it. I love this. It's gruesome and cheerful at the same time, which is pretty much like my whole MO, gruesome but cheerful. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to put this on here. Very good. Yeah, I love this. This is a great, this is a great pen. Um, so here we go. They're, they, maybe they are Lego flowers. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it is a really cool pin. I like this one. So, um, so gosh, we let's see who's here. Let's see who's here and say give a hearty hello to all of our uh, all of our viewers today. Let's see who we've got here. So, Albert Lee is here. Uh, Brett Hooper, Brickman Mosaics Art. How's it going? Brickworm is here. Oh, hi. And then my camera just decided to tilt down. Brickworm is here. Uh, Chris Ecto-1 Build Finished Chalice. Congratulations on finishing your Ecto-1 Build. Cowboy Cornado is here. Ahoy, howdy. Um, Darren Siegfried. Hey, Darren. Uh, Debo Bricks, Fabufan MKE, uh, Hooded One, John Latrell. Joshua Zender, Marilyn Parmley, and uh, the rest of the Parmleys, hello to you. Matthew Build Bricks, how's it going? All the way over there in the UK. Uh, Mini Fig Chick, uh, good to see you, of course. Monica Berry, Sarah Silverman, uh, Smoke Up Johnny is here, and uh, Zach Martinez is here. Now, I don't see, um, I'm sure that, uh, oh, Osorg just showed up, how's it going? Um, I'm not sure if Monica Berry was there. They all kind of like pop in as I'm going along and it's hard to keep up sometimes, but um, gosh, uh, oh, there's Kim. Okay, good. Woo! I had, to, I had to scroll down just the one name to make sure that she was there. And of course she was. <laughs> so um, gosh. Oh, and Amper Up is here. Very cool. Welcome, Amper Up. Good to see you. Mm. All right, coffee. You even typed early. I know. I think it times out or something. It's really weird. Um, a brickworm says, I finished. I finally finished the countdown challenge early. Now to photograph them. Very good. Oh, bonsoir, Wilfred. I, you missed it, but I, I'm wearing your pin today, your awesome pin that you sent me, which I love. Um, so, but yeah. Um, so actually, speaking of that, uh, brickworm, we, let's talk about our challenge that's going on this week that's due tomorrow at 5 p.m. Um, and that is the Countdown Calendar Challenge. And we've been sort of um, inspired by the Lego Advent calendars. And um, we decided, you know, 
let's make it something that everybody, um, you know, lots of people don't celebrate Advent or whatever, so we figured we'd make it a little bit more open. And we have done the Countdown Calendar Challenge. And you can find all the details on the Tricky Bricks website, trickybricks.com. Uh, but basically what's going to happen is you're going to come up with a theme uh, for this countdown calendar, and it can be a countdown uh, to whatever you want. Um, I uh, And you are to make three mini builds of the type that would appear in one of these calendars. And each mini build is to be uh, 15 to 20 pieces. It can be less than that if you want, but 15 to 20 pieces for each model. And each model, uh, and if you use a minifigure, that does count as separate parts. Now we're giving you the torso assembly. That means torso, arms, and hands as one piece, just like they do in the build a minifig bits. But legs count, torso counts, head counts, hair or a hat counts. So that counts against your, uh, your, your uh, piece count. So don't forget. So there you go. Three mini builds. Um, I've also on the website, there is a picture of the friend, the current friends advent calendar to kind of give you an idea of what we mean by these mini builds. Okay. So, um, Oh, Marilyn says, while I watch the stream, I'm polishing a stone, one of my many fun hobbies. Yes, I know. Um, that also minifig chick and paint pusher are into that, uh, uh, into that as well. So, um, so we're doing something a little different today. Um, we are, I don't know, we were trying to come up, uh, we were, you know, talking about what we wanted to do today and like, we actually still haven't finished doing the Fiat. So we thought, um, yeah, um, we wouldn't, uh, we want to do that, but I wanted to show you what we do have coming up is, um, we've got the Santa and Ms. Santa Brickheads. We've got, uh, the micro, you know, like micro version of the gingerbread house. And we have the Lego Christmas tree giveaway from, um, several years ago. And these are all things that we'll be putting, uh, on. Uh, we will be putting together in the next couple of weeks. But I'll be very honest with you, Richard's having some repetitive stress disorder with his hand. And, it, and it's become a real problem at his work. He had a really painful day yesterday. So we decided that we would do something that didn't necessarily involve building today so that he can give um, his hand a rest um, as much as possible during the show. Moto is here. Ahoy, hoy, Moto. Very good. Um, so what I thought would be fun is I was thinking, well, what about, um, what if we talked about the history of the Lego Winter Village sets? Because we came a little bit late to the party, so we didn't uh, have access to a lot of the earlier ones. And I just started thinking about like, oh gosh, I wonder what, you know, I wonder what those, those would be, you know, those were like, how many of them, when did they come out? Did they reissue any of them? And yes, they, they have done all of those things. Um, so uh, that's something that we're going to talk about today, and I found some really fun um, information always um, uh, about the, about this. So I see, see, I'm going to show you how insidious this is. So I look at the, ch you know, you can see me looking at the chat and talking to you. And Wilfred typed always, and I said always, even though I didn't mean always. I found some really good information about the sets. I don't know where always came into it. <laughs> hmm. But I have my my notes cleverly written on the back of an envelope uh, here, um, and uh, I've, I'll I'll have you all know I did I finished my commission which I was really happy about I mailed it off it's it's out for delivery today, um, and I'm, I'm excited about the time when I get to share it with you all what I've been working on because it's been uh, really really fun. Jake Animation Studios, welcome back, buddy. It's good to see you. So glad to to have you back. Very cool. Um, so, uh, oh yes, and by the way, if you're here, um, if you could give the stream a like, just hit that little thumbs up button down there. It really helps out with the stream, with the with the algorithms on YouTube, and helps more people find us and all that good stuff. So, if you don't mind uh, giving that a like, we would certainly appreciate it. Um, but gosh, so let's talk about um, stickers. All right, I think it may be time for. <laughs> Sticker set show and tell. Now I am going to hopefully, now hopefully I'm going to get all this right. Now we'll see because, you know, Richard is the one that usually has, oh, actually I think he wrote it down. Did he write it down? 
Um, no, that's not it. Oh, I have it right here. Richard's card. Look at that. Okay, so we are going to go over here. This is the sticker for today. So this is from set 10245. Holiday and event set. Oh, look at that. See, he heard me reading his card, and he had to con he, he appears. Did I get glasses? Let's see. Here, we'll do coffee in an order. I know. Let's there we go. A meeting. I know. I know. I was telling everybody um, that you got okay. called away, like, at the last second. Okay, I don't even have a chair. I'm just going to stand here. <laughs> I'll be right back. I will get you a chair. You go ahead. All right. Well, this awesome sticker here is the variant. It's it's a solid background version. Evidently, there were more than one version. There you go. Sit down. Um, this is from the Holiday and Events Sets line. Um, Christmas. 857 parts. It came with six figs. Um, most of them, of course, were elves. Um, there was a blue... Uh, there were ones with blue and green overalls, a plaid shirt, or a white striped shirt. And evidently, there were two variations of one elf depending on whether they had a um, black or a brown dimple in the front of their shirt. Uh, I guess they changed that. And this was, by the way, this is this was the Santa's workshop, as you can see on the sticker there. Yep. And um, it also came with Mrs. Claus in a dashing red cape, is um, cool an cape. apron, and Santa. This was actually, this was one of the very first sets we ever got. Uh, I, mean, I should say one of the very first Winter Village sets we ever got, if not the mm -hmm. first. And we got it uh, as a prize at Bricks by the Bay for a building uh, for a building game that we were working on. It might have oh, been a, yeah. may have been our first left hand right hand build or speed build. I can't remember what game it was, but we actually got this, and I was so super excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna step aside for a moment and get, okay. get myself <laughs> ready to be on TV. <laughs> All, right. All right, you do that. <laughs> um, so. Uh, Oh gosh, what was I just talking about? Oh, oh, Hooded One says, Flynn, you must be jumping with joy about Lego Ideas, the Adams Family Mystery Mansion, reaching 10K support. I am so excited. You don't even know. That's just, it's uh, really, really, really fun. <gasps> Megan Lum is here. Hi, Megan. How's it going? Oh my goodness, so good to see you. Yes, it was the yelling game. Okay, that was the first uh, game of that type we ever were involved in. And we, I remember being so excited about that. Um, and let me see if I can find, can I find the, um, let's see if I can find the Lego Ideas, um, Adam's family. Um, yeah, I, d I did see it was announced today that it had just hit the, um, it had gotten its, um, all of its support needed, the 10,000, 10,000 supporters. But let's take a look, uh, here, we can take a look at that on the interwebs. There we go. So this is, um, here it is, it's the Adams Family uh, Modular. All right, and let me see if I can move this over a little bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is God, and let's take a look at some of the pictures of it here. It's a really, it's a really, really fantastic model. I, um, I really like it a lot. Super fun. It's got the minifigs. Okay, I have to say, like, I like the minifigs are cute, and I think they'll come up with, like, sort of more, you know, these are obviously just, like, put together from parts that LEGO already has, but the cousin It is so genius and ridiculous. I love it. It's so funny. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the, um, this is going to be the one I think that's, uh, there you go. Wait, is that the right one? I found a different one. This one also reached, it says, uh, oh, this is the not approved one. You're right. Oh my goodness. I got the wrong one. Maybe it's this one. There's so many. There we go. I believe, th is this? No, that's not it either. Wow, there's so many. Look at that. I don't even know what's going on. Here, we'll go to the brick fan. The brick fan will give us the right thing, right? Here we go. This is the one that got approved. Sorry, everyone. Um, this is the one that got approved. My my bad. Okay, and we're looking here. And actually, this is a, a much more detailed and nicer, uh, nicer thing. I I think this is really I think this is really really cool. Um, and it's by Disney Brick Fifty Five. 
You know, that's the thing. When they show you, when there's so many uh, different ones, it's hard to find the right one, right? Sorry about that, everybody. Um, I was like going on about the right one. And I love that. I think the minifigures are better on this one. The build is better on this one. Um, yeah, uh, I really like, uh, uh, and then when, and it flips around and you can see it's got a whole inside and, and everything. It looks really, really cool. I gotta say, I, one of the things I, let's see if we can actually get the official page up. There we go. Here it is. You know, I was gonna say, the other design looked a little simplistic for something that would get of that much approval, but I didn't wanna, and, and, and it did get the approval. I mean, it did get the votes, but not the approval now, but this one, so obviously Adam's Family must be very popular if two different Adam's Family House models have gotten 10K votes. So yeah, yeah. Um, but it looks really, it looks really cool. It looks, um, it looks fun. I love all the little details. Grandma Ma is awesome. <laughs> um, oh, look, it's the bed with the spikes. Uncle Fester's bed with the spikes on it. I mean, they and, really and went. And the Iron Maiden. Yes, the Iron Maiden is there. Um, there's Gomez with his trains. Um, I, I love it. trains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, Megan Lum is here. Hi, Megan. Oh, I love Morticia um, trimming her uh, her roses. I like she's got kind of an elongated face compared with a lot of them. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's like a... So, and okay, good. I was just about to say, the, I hope the polar bear statue is there. And of course, they've used my absolute favorite patterned printed brick, which is the sand green... Uh, wallpaper brick from the yeah. from the Batman sixty six set. And is so that good. A, is that a narwhal there? Where's that uh, on the yes? On the there was a narwhal. The yeah, on the upper above the door on the left. Yes, there was a uh, there was a narwhal. I believe actually it was a swordfish in the in uh, the in the movie, but I could be wrong yeah. about and that. And look, they had to um, they had to compromise on the background there because there aren't any technical bricks with the with the wallpaper. Yeah, pattern. well, you know, I guess you got to do what you got to do. That's one of those suspend your disbelief things. But they really, I just I, the attention to detail in this is fantastic. What yeah. are the torch flames? Um, it's not uh, Joel. It's not approved. It did get the 10k votes though, right? Um, yeah, paint rollers in the chandelier is fantastic, and I'd love to have some some gold um, uh, some gold uh, paint handles because I you know we were talking the other day about how that's one of the um, the the unsung heroes of Lego parts is that paintbrush. It's a great technical yeah. piece, and then they've used those half arches in the top in the attic space there to create gothic arches. I always like that. The swordfish needs a fish leg in its mouth. Yeah, there, I thought it was a swordfish, right, with a leg. That's why I thought I wasn't sure. Um, let's see. All right, so there we go. That's uh, yeah, that's a thing that happened today. So I guess that's sort of like our Lego news for the day. Sure. Um, but uh, well, we had but, another yeah. little thing here, and I and I messed up at the beginning too. I, I showed uh -oh. the wrong one. No. <laughs> well, there was another one. There was an earlier Adams Family Mansion that made it to 10K supporters. Mm -hmm. But um, so there you go. I thought it was weird that it said not approved on the side, but you know, right. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. <laughs> we we got a nice surprise, did we? Um, yeah, and I'm gonna dig into it deeper, but I just wanted to do. A oh heads right, up. yes, we got this. Um, we got this great book sent to us. Um, yeah, so high tech Lego projects. It's from No Starch Press, and if you know No Starch Press, they do a ton of um, really great stuff. A lot of really fun. Um, a lot of really fun books. A lot of Lego related books. Yep. Yep. Um, almost like all the Lego related books that are out are done either through No Starch um, or I think there's yep. like one or two other publishers that do books. So in fairness, they sent us this, but I got to say, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I haven't dove in deep, but just to give you a little idea of, of what's in it, where's our, um, there's a motion activated critter cam, a Morse code transmitter, motion sensing radar. So they do use in this, um, they use a number of third party um, electronics. You know, let's see if I can see here. Yeah, third party electronics there, but they tell you all how to find it. You can just find it on the web and how to assemble it. Well, and it's also notable because it is using the original EV3. Yep. 
not the new not original the new EV3. Kind. So if you've got that EV3 sitting around or you want to get one, I'm sure the cost is lower than when they were brand new. Um, we've used ours a bunch. Yeah, and we have. I mean, I think you use just, them more. These will just be fun projects. There's a, uh, I'll just show you this one other one. Um, it's a sun tracking tower um, or a sun measuring tower. It's the Tower of Erasthenes. Oh my, that's there. A and you got to be patient because you have to build it and then take measurements at the, oops, sorry there. You got to take measurements at the solstice and the equinox. And then you can, <laughs> well, I haven't read the project, but I'm pretty psyched. <laughs> Anything tracking the sun, right? It looks very exciting. So that's cool. We'll hear more about that coming up. Absolutely. Um, are you, do you have a pin today? A pin? No, I, maybe. I almost have Why don't a you pin? just do a grab bag out of your box? Because doesn't that box have pins in it? Yeah, but those are all ones that I've done. Um, I think we've worn all of them before. Very recently. Here. I've got my, uh, I'm wearing my Wilfred pin today. Ooh, I can even show. We got these. Glenn got me this nifty. Look at this. Nerf, oh, yeah, I think we talked about this before. Nerf gear. Look at that. A nifty pin holder <laughs> that folds up and it's all nice felt. I got one too. And you can hang it on the wall, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to go, since we're talking about high-tech Lego pro <laughs> projects, I'm going to go for this um, oh, robot, robot chip. chip. chip <laughs> That's kind as a of robot. awesome. Have you worn that before? Once. I love it. Yeah, it's with so the cute. antenna on it. Well, now head. we need to get Robot Dale, and I can wear that one. Of course. Because that's too good. They can be clang and clang. Exactly. Yes. Oh, hey, Alexander23, how's it going? Welcome. Very good. Okay, points to anyone um, who know who Kling and Clang are. Kling and Clang? You know, I'm... I'll give you a, I'll give you a hint. Kling and Clang were robots, androids, if you will, played by Ruth Buzzy and Jim Neighbors on The Lost Saucer. We've talked about The Lost Saucer here before. I'm sorry <laughs> that we had to come back to it. <laughs> Now, what's that? was that their names? I thought Kling and Clang were the two little weird, like, um, police guys from H.R. Puff and stuff. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. Am I giving bad information here? I don't know. Let's see here. I could be wrong. I just remember the doors. <laughs> the doors, exactly. Bad the news. dog horse. David Wilkie, how's it going? Welcome. And the Plastic Architect, welcome. Hello to you. Uh, uh, glad to see everybody here. Um, oh, you're right. Now I'm going to have to find out the name of the robots see? in the Lost Saucer. See, okay, well, I'm, I'm sure that's an easy lookup, right? Um, wow. Yes, here's Kling and Kling. Hang on, I'm going to show it on, the, on okay. the interwebs here. I can show the... They were kind of Keystone Cops, weren't they? They were a little Keystone Cops-ish. I think they fell down a lot. Yeah, here you go. Um, this They did fall down a lot, it's true. <laughs> Here is this is Kling and Clang. They were the weird little kind of like police guys from HFO and stuff. Wow. I don't know. I that's one of those things I may have thought for years that that was Ruth Buzzy and Jim Neighbors. I did you did you figure it out? No, I thought should I be on my phone when we're on TV? Let's see here. Um, oh, Tricky Bricks. I was chatting with Crystal last night on her Twitch stream, and she sends her love. Oh, awesome. We oh, love we love her. We love Crystal. We were just talking about her just like yesterday or day before. Yes. The Lost Saucer. I'm sorry, everybody. We're going down this rabbit hole. But I think we can probably start moving forward. I have images, but I'm not going to make you wait while I figure out their names. Maybe we'll put it up on the website. Really? Look, we can just do this. Uh-oh. Robot names. Lost Saucer. See, our, our views are going down. Like, people are leaving in droves. Um... No, you had a little bit of oh, business there. Oh, I had some there. extra business Thanks for going sticking on. with us. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. Android repairmen. Uh, they're aliens. Yeah, like alien robots. Um, Fi and Fum. Fi and Fum. Or Fee and Fum, oh. which is just as terrible. Which is just as terrible. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. I'm sorry, everyone. I apologize profusely for that. That hard left turn sorry that, All right. that, that was a diversion but now we know we're clear puffin stuff versus we go. the lost saucer all right so but let's get into our uh subject our, for our today. lego program into our <laughs> subject for today <laughs> oh time for timer it's a wagon wheel 
That always killed me. It's Time for Timer. Movie. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Time for Timer was amazing. Yeah, he was he was all about healthy snacks. Well, and you know that they ended up being in a whole other separate cartoon about like the inside of your body. It was super creepy and Wasn't weird. he like a super spindly cowboy? He, he, well, he kind of looked like Twinkie the Kid. But I was Twinkie thinking... the Kid was shaped like a pear. I thought the same thing. <laughs> <It's so creepy. laughs> You know, we did, as kids, go outside sometimes, too. Not really. <laughs> Occasionally. See, I love this. I've taken hotkeys off, so now I can look for, um, I can look for things on, online. Okay, see? Look, here he is. This is, um, this is Timer. And he was, um, here, I'll show you. He, um, he would do these sort of, like, in-between... Well, it's sort of more like Twinkie kind the of, Kid if he was shaped like an apple. Maybe yeah. not a pear. Well, these were in between children's shows, kind of like Schoolhouse Rock, right? <laughs> yes, but like weirder and about like health eating. And let's not even talk about Slim Goodbody. We, we no. don't need to go down that road. Oof, just look it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Television so, is funny. What we're act what we're actually talking about today. Um, is the history of, of Lego Winter Village sets. Um, now, we've already done our sticker for today, which you can see here, which is one of the, um, the things. Um, so, well, in, in addition to Winter Villages, just holiday sets in general, right? No, this is strictly Lego, Lego um, oh. Winter Village sets. Now, when I was doing this research, um, I found um, an article by uh, um, the Lego Brick Guy. And it's legobrickguy.com. So if you're interested in what we're talking about today, he's written a whole article in high, high detail. Um, we're not going to go into that kind of detail today. We're really just sort of more talking about a timeline and our, you know, yeah. our thoughts on the different sets and whatever. But we are um, using his list of sets. Right? Um, but he's he's listed out the sets that we're gonna that we're going to show. That's yes. what I'm saying. And um, you can also find that list on Wikipedia and any other number of places. Yeah. Um, so. All right, so the first one we've got here is, the, this was from 2006, and this was the, the first of the official uh, Lego Holiday, this was the Lego Holiday train. Um, and you can see it's a, mm -hmm. um, a simple-ish design. Oh, Megan says, I love this train. It was the set that got me out of my dark ages. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, I love green. Yeah, it's a, well, it's got a lot of green. I really like that interesting, um, like, <laughs> the turn wheel on the front of the train. Yeah. Um, is cool. Yeah, you can see this is um, definitely the details of trains got a lot more realistic as we moved. Oh, yeah, ahead. yeah. But also, too, I've noticed that, like, this front area of the Lego train has not changed a whole lot. Like, this, mm -hmm. the two headlight bricks with the, like, this was the same mm -hmm. way we constructed the Hogwarts Express that we did. Um, oh, yes, uh, Wilfred the Cute Rabbit. The rabbit is, that's actually a rabbit from Belleville. That's a Belleville oh. rabbit. And I, we have one of those in, in one of those awesome Belleville sets that we got. But that is absolutely a Belleville rabbit. All right. Um, it's got the ubiquitous um, small green leaves as decorations on the side because that's what fits, right? Exactly. Oh, Rick Brickham is here. Hey, Rick Brickham. How's it going? Welcome. Um, so, uh, the cat on top of the passenger car. Yes, there is a cat on top of the passenger car. Wow, this is like, um, there's a, uh, I'm terrified for that cat. Well, this is not, <laughs> this is not Snowpiercer. What, oh, no! Right? Oh, my God. Right? This is, this is, <laughs> this is not the Polar Express. This, this train <laughs> I think this train's moving slowly. <laughs> That was a great movie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Mr. Hinkle Draws is here. Kevin Hinkle is here, everybody. Hey, if you don't know Kevin, he is an amazing artist. He does um, these live doodle streams that are that, um, that were really fun. And he also is the designer of our logo. Um, well, and so, and so much amazing art in the Lego community. Yeah, amazing, amazing art for so many people across the Lego community. Plus, he's done, he just does other great art also that you should check out. So definitely yeah, make he sure. made those cool Halloween stickers. Those, those are so awesome. Those are so awesome. Um, Bama Bricks is here. How's it going? Welcome. Um, so we're just kicking off our history of, oh, and uh, 
<laughs> Jake Sadovich is here. Very exciting. Oh, this is so much fun. Uh, let's see. What does it say? Oh, I like, it gives a little tiny image of all the cars you get down at the bottom right. Yeah, it's interesting. So it looks like it came with like a really, really long car that has like all the toys and stuff. Uh, put it's a lot the of toys of it, for so. the whole world. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Rob Ketcherside is here. And Dave Robinson, I must find out what you put in your coffee. We can, I'll text you. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's Pete's. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. All right, so um, so Lego would then not do another um, official holiday set like this until 2009. <laughs> Smoke up, Johnny. And A Lego stop-action movie of Snowpiercer would be <laughs> definitely something to see. <laughs> um uh, someone sounds someone, yes, a uh, uh, stop action movie. Oh, and your dad's here. Hey, dad. Hey, dad. How's it going, welcome. My um, first, my first train around the Christmas tree was courtesy of your dad. My dad. So, um, and mom. So let's check this out. This is the the Winter Village toy shop. Now we would eventually get this. We did get this as one, our right? first purchased one, but we got the reissue, which came in 2015. Got so it. Like six years later, but we'll go into that later. So we're already sort of Charles Dickens, right? And well, with the dangerous, scary ladder to put the the star on top of the tree. Do you want to climb right. that ladder? Uh, no. <laughs> um, but I mean, we definitely have. I don't know about Dickens, but we definitely have like the Dickens style carolers. Like that That's was what um, I'm saying. this was like a, a feature of one of these, and it has the the great like the the little tiny micro toys in the window, which would become a staple in a lot of the um, the toy shop models. So I think this is really fun. Apples is here. Hey, how's it going? Um, the Jack in the Box is super cute. The Jack in the Box is cool. I love these globes that go over the light, uh, the street lights. Yeah, they split in half. I used one of those in my um, in my two thousand and one piece. That's right. And you know what? You I mean, you could do you could actually do like a whole um, history of um, Lego light posts. Like so, they've had so Probably. many cool different ones. And then I wonder if that same cat is in all of the Christmas sets. There she is again there on the again. bench. She is um, and feeling playful, as you can tell. Um, and we got some. We got a couple of kids on skis. We have uh, the workman uh, who is putting together uh, the snowman. He's got the the carrot in his hand. We've got this Jack in the Box character, and yeah, a, it looks like a brick built teddy bear, um, which is cute but a little esoteric at the moment from it's, it's what I can see. Kind of a, kind of a yeah. Yeah, kind of and an then, early robot teddy bear. And it also included, as Alex Alex twenty three points out, the classic um, trees, the the pine yeah. trees, the actual like Lego pine trees. I love those, which we have a whole box of, and we we only use for um, occasionally for things when they're supposed to be far away. We brick built a lot. We brick yeah. built a lot of our trees now. It's true. Okay, so that was two thousand and nine, the Winter Village Toy Shop. Okay, moving forward in time. This was from 2010. This is the Winter Village Bakery. Now, you can see that it came with uh, the bakery uh, with a little um, I, th a little hayride, or actually, I guess that's like a Christmas um, tree uh, cart. Oh, I love that cart. It's really cute. And it looks like, is it? I want to say it looks like it's made from treads on the side, but that's those don't look like they hook together, but maybe they are? It's something that fits up. Those are on clips, aren't they? Um, aren't there clips just above the, the wheels that are pointed up and are holding those things that have a couple bars on them? I don't yeah, know that piece. I don't know that piece either, but it's a really cool piece. Yep. Um, and then we have a little ice skating rink, which of course would then be a precursor to the now the gift with purchase ice skating rink that we have, which has been heavily updated and has gears on it and all the, and all that sort of thing. Debo Bricks has clipped panels. That's pretty cool. I've never yeah. actually seen those. And this, of course, this predates our um, our introduction into the uh, by about five years our, uh, into the hobby. 
Yep. Um, well, you see a lot more studs here than you see in a lot of more recent sets. Yes, for sure. And for would sure. that would that have already been a Hedwig? Um, no. Um, right, but because it, that's early, right? Well, but so the thing was, I mean, I think it's it's white so that they can, you know, it goes with the winterness of it all, right? A white a white set uh, a white owl. But it's interesting too that the, yeah, there's no cat. There is an owl instead, um, and. This was when they were before they were actually um, printing owls' faces. Like a lot oh, of the animals just had like plain, like the dogs and the um, and the owls all had just like plain, you know, whatever color the plastic was. They make great statues, then. They do absolutely, absolutely. And then what is that on the right hand side of the of the ice rink there, in red with a black tooth? Looks almost like a seal sitting up there. I can't tell yeah, what I'm it is. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, to tell you the Abstract truth. Abstract art at the ice rink. <laughs> 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 and then the little pretzel sign on the bakery is great. It's super cute, right? And yet another lamppost. Yep. Right? Different style. All right. So then um, in 2011, we got the Winter Village Post Office. I love this build. Yeah. And I will say... That ever since we first started collecting Lego, I have been trying to build this set with my own parts. Well, is that why we always have a red mail truck? Yes, because the very first thing I ever built for our Winter Village set was that red truck. I got the I got the instructions mm -hmm. online. I've tried to build it three different times, and each time didn't have the right pieces well we yeah we've had that mail truck every year since we started yeah with... i never took it apart it's one of those ones i kind of kept together and then that's the more that's the european symbol for the mail isn't it um someone someone yes. from across the ocean there let us know if it's specific to a country but i've seen that when i've been in europe yeah the um the it's a really great i really really love that truck it's fun uh it's a it's a fun little build too and i like that it's got that real vintage look to it like a vintage car well and the bandstand is really cute that and, that could be done in multiple different colors i could see like an elves colors version of that and that guy looks like he has a banjo the guy in the center with the red scarf on I kind of can't tell, but it looks well, a little it banjo looks like, to me. It looks like it a, is a, banjo. a stick with a printed round tile that's got the strings on it. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even know that was a thing. I need to get. I need to find that piece. Oh my goodness. Um, Danish Royal Mail says. Uh, oh, got it. Uh, Kevin Hinkle. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, yeah. The lamp post. Another great lamp post. Right. Like this crazy thing. Oh, with that. With that octagonal piece as a shade. Yeah, and I think the design of the That's gazebo great. is really clever. But my favorite part of this, and the whole reason that I wanted to build it in the first place, was because it of this... Oh, the rounded The entrance. rounded... Yeah, the rounded window entrance thing. I just... I, I, I mean, it's... Oh, this I is see. The it's entrance, like a, it's like a, a bay, like a bay window. window, right. Um... Yeah. Oh, Sarah Silverman says that banjo was a big deal when that set came out. I'll bet. And if they've never done it again since, I don't think. That's, That's cool. I, I don't ever remember that. Oh, Aubrey Kovac says, um, I have that banjo piece. So, Aubrey, is it one piece or is it like a stick with a round tile that has a clip on the back of it? Like that they use for street signs, right? Oh, Mairead says, I'm interested in this lamp light fixture show, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll be a new thing that we do is we'll do f features about like the history of all the sets Lego that constructions. Light oh, that'll take a thousand years. That'd be oh, my fun. Goodness. I could do that research. So um, I think I've decided that that's actually a Glacier Bay window. Oh, okay. It's officially Glacier Bay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> um, and then we still have, you know, and we have it. What it looks like to me is still some pretty generic minifigure bodies. Um, like they're using all the classic pieces. You can see this guy's got the blue overalls on. Um, I'm not quite sure what he's doing to the dog with that, but <laughs> like, um, with that whip. You've got somebody uh, shoveling out the bench here. You got your your male person, and then now, like to me, her outfit is really weird. Like that black well, it's wedge. Ju it's just a slope, right? For... No, nobody should be wearing a black skirt with a light blue top. <laughs> how about how about Ali Sheedy in the Breakfast Club? Especially not. 
<laughs> too funny. I love it. All right. Yeah, this is great. I like the angled um, corner corner round plates for the gazebo as well as the bay window there. Oh, no, it's different on the bay window. Nice set. This is my favorite so far. Yeah, it's really cool. I love this. Although, I don't know that whip and the dog. Maybe it's a maybe it's a leash. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> All right. Maybe he's the dog catcher. He does have a bone in his hand, so he's like being being some and a kind smile. of kind. He's friendly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The dog is non plus. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, so next up, this was 2011. So next up in uh, 2012 came the Winter Village Cottage, and I absolutely love this set. And it seems like um, this is, it seems like this is, um, they've advanced a little bit in their roof technique. Yeah, it's like an adventure in roof treatments, as well as like got the sort of city um, snow plow there. It, it it I really I really like that. That's a really cool piece. And more micro toys. Look, those that plane is three pieces, and, and the, the boat and the boat is like two or three. Yep, very very cool. And we have a cat and an owl. Yes, and you can see the brown owl now has printing on it. Mm. Um, very good. I'm also gonna say that 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 igloo is either an owl house or a dog house. That seems like, right? Yeah. Well, I love the... So the little igloo thing? Yeah, it's cool. Um, and I really like the um, the roof treatment I am a big fan of. That front, like, the front eaves on the roof yeah. that come down like that. Just really brilliant. I hope it's a husky. If they're gonna if they're gonna put it in an igloo, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but that little snowplow is super cute. Yeah, I, I like, like little vehicles, and the rear view mirrors seem to be an interesting construction. Uh, well, it's like a clip. Here, let's 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 uh, get a closer look at this. We can pull this up a little bit. Yeah, it looks like a one by two tile with a with a post on the bottom of it. Or one one by two plate with a post on the bottom of it with a gray tile on the back of it. It's it's pretty That's great. great for trucks. Well, and I love the vintage look of all of these, right? They they try to give the whole thing a sort of a vintage feeling, like overall. Yeah. And Minifig Chick points out that those are shovels for the sled. Um, oh, nice. That's like a shovel there, and then it looks like just a regular stick. Here. And then that sh the snow plow are those plow pieces the same panel that were used in the previous set? It looks like it. You know that have the little. Post it on the looks back. like it. Oh yeah, and there's a guy with a chainsaw here, and <laughs> and a lady standing a little too close. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So up, Johnny. She's got to be careful. And you'll notice, and somebody mentioned this earlier. Their um their ski poles are just like plain old sticks. All right, and oh yeah, Monica Berry just said too, and they eventually um you know would move on to actual ski pole pieces that we have now. And what so. What year are we talking here? This is 2012. This is the Winter Village, Co Village Cottage. And also, wow. I, I gotta say, I just love the design of the building, period. This sort of like Tudor style yeah. with the sand blue, or the with the medium blue. Yeah, and the blue the, and brown and the Tudor brown. is great. It's a really great look. And one is very reminiscent of the, um, the one of the buildings in the Medieval Marketplace set had that same, like, Blue and brown. There's a feeling. lot of snow weight on those roofs right there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Ooh, very this, different. This is one that I'm super sad to have missed. Um, and I actually started a mock uh, of a small um, uh, merry-go-round. We were going to make a, a, a different themed one. A different one. themed one. We may still. Um, but I based it on this uh, construction. So this is from 2013, and it is the um, midi uh, medieval. It's the Winter mm. Village Market. Um, and you can see that we've got a, a few little scenes here. Somebody who's like selling uh, sort of like hot chocolate. We've got a candy uh, booth. We've got baked goods. We've got, again, the bench, and it looks like an animal, but I can't tell what kind of animal that is right at the moment because um, it's very tiny on our screen. Oh, like a tiny tan cat? It is a cat. It's another cat. <laughs> the cat is back. It's brown this time. It's the cat's kitten. And the then there, there's kitten. a teddy bear. 
there's a teddy bear, there's a pretzel, and then of course the big sort of you know focus of this is that great little mini merry-go-round with um mm -hmm. with two horses and and then the two grandma cars, as and, they call them. And then are those are those sailboard sails? Uh, wait, where on, on the roof of the carousel? That's uh, the soft cloth. Pieces, that's just those right? cloth pieces, like on the bigger carousel, um, just smaller. Yeah. Um, Maggie the cat is alive. It's true. Hey, Shane Levan is here. How's it going? It's also nice that not every holiday set is straight up red and green. I like that they're they're. You yes. know, we we saw the one that was predominantly dark green. Um, I like that they're mixing it up. Hey, Monica Berry's husband is here. Awesome, Paul Jankowski. How's it going? Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, this is much nicer than the market um, that appears with Seattle's holiday carousel. <laughs> <laughs> I got to um, for a little over a year. I lived in Berlin, and I was there for over two winters mm -hmm. um and their vinox mark i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing you know my german um but at any rate um their winter market was amazing it was icy and cold out and there was um there were um chestnuts mm -hmm. you know toasted chestnuts you could get and all kinds of sort of Rus russian eastern european and western european amazing holiday stuff yeah that was my first holiday market um Goodness, really, really cool. I love, well, this is, um, you know, besides the post office, this is probably my next favorite of the sets just because I love a carousel. And the fact that they incorporated uh, movement into it, um, you know, it does have a crank mm -hmm. that you can turn and it's all, you can see the crank is right there on top of the ticket booth. Um, oh, I see how they're, yeah. they're combined. And then you can see an axle, a little axle and bushing extending between the two. Well, and I'll say that this is a great, this is, if you want to know basics of gears, this is a great little build. Um, mm -hmm. So if you just want to know, like, you know, I, I mean. How do you I, turn 90 degrees? Yeah, because it's definitely. Um, Excuse me, I have to go. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, so I really just, I really love the, um, the, oh, now I've lost where I was. Oh, anyway, I was saying, so this is a really, really great set. Um, if you want to learn gearing, because it's got simple gears, but to see how to turn something like that, because look, you're doing um, a 90 degree turn. You've got your your handle with a with an axle that goes straight down, and you're going to make a 90 degree turn into the um, into that uh, carousel there. So, all right, Brick Man Mosaics Art, Brick Man Mosaics Art. We'll see you later. Thanks for joining us today. Um, you t I got this on discount. I think this was the last time the Winter Village set went on discount at the Lego store. I did see the Santa's workshop one actually go on. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a, a decently big gear in the ticket booth. Yeah, there's. it's just, it's just a nice... Um, it's just a nice way to learn the basics of gears. Uh, I love this, and I love the, the roof on the, the sort of the candy shop area with the little flat part on the top so they don't all have to be just like... You know, they made sure to use different roof treatments, right? They've got one, you know, pointy roof, a roof with a flat top, and then they have a more like shed or shack kind of like one, like one thing there. But yeah, this is a, this is a great set, really fun. And you can see again, another um, lamp post. And you'll notice that in this one, in the past lamp posts, the, the uh, stem of the lamp post was a, um, was a stack of one by one round bricks. And now they've changed to that, uh, the Lance piece, the tall Lance that has the little handle that sticks out of it. Um, and that's how they're hanging that wreath on there. But we still get those great globes, right? So really, really cool. All right, that was the Winter Village Market from 2013. Here we go, Santa's Workshop. This is a fantastic little set. It has its issues. <laughs> it has its issues, but it it um, overall is a really, really cool set. You'll notice that this one doesn't have any lampposts, um, but it does come with a lot of cool uh, little pieces. Um, I really in, uh, love the treatment of the two gray pieces flanking the either side of the door. 
Um, I think that's really, really fun. It came with a bunch of minifigures. I think a lot, um, uh, you know, they all come with a lot, but this one came with the elves, with the, um, you know, they have those slouch hats with the ears uh, coming off of it. Um, now, this is, the, the brick-built reindeer in this are really fun, but I will tell you from experience, those are the hardest things to keep actually attached onto that. Like, you literally have to just, like, put it together and don't touch it. Um, and I also thought it was a little bit odd that they're, um, they didn't include a red nose on one of them. I mean, I guess you could just do that yourself, but it seemed like kind of an easy get <laughs> they could have done, like, um, it, you know. Um, but it has a really cute uh, chimney. It's also got a really cute interior. I don't have a picture of it here, but there is a cute interior. And it's got a really nice brick-built mini tree that you can see there in the background on the left. Um, uh, uh, Kevin Eagle says, I, uh, I'm being reminded of all the controversies that occurred in the community with each yearly set. This was the first non-realistic slash whimsical set. Oh my goodness, really? Everybody's always got something to gripe about, I suppose, when sets come out. Um, but, you know, they do include sometimes a lot of new pieces, and I think this one is really fun. I love the shape of the house. It's got, like, a main house structure, and then the other part of it comes off at kind of an angle. So it's got really, um, you know, it's it's got some really interesting architecture. And then, of course, we have this... Um, adorable little like uh, the toy factory um machine if you will um and all the little uh elves working on it and stuff i just think it's really fun um yeah uh, and then i really love this the north pole sign is another great uh reason to get this and you know we looked at the stickers earlier they're great um the sleigh is a great design you can see that the sides of it are actually upside down um arches Right, so there was some upside down building. Pretty cool. Um, don't get me started on the roof with the snow on it versus all white the following year. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Kevin, we need to have a long talk about this. Maybe we should have you on. If you're, a, we should have you on one. Uh, we can do and, and talk about all of that. <laughs> I think that would be really fun to hear about and horrifying at the same time. Um, let's see. Mm. All right, and so yes, and, and Minifig Chick makes the point that now they have an actual reindeer part, which only costs. I think it would only cost you like a hundred dollars to have the whole, um, all the reindeer. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this was, uh, this was the, um, 2014 Santa's workshop. Yeah, exactly, Paul. That's what I was saying earlier. You think they would have just like put a red nose on it and been done with it. Um, oh, the fun concerns that reached my desk over the years to whom it may concern. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Ankle draws. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure you have a scads of stories, um. I know uh, when I was in the video game industry, I used to get emails about why a video game, and I didn't even make the game or have anything to do with it or even work for the company. So I can only imagine what you went through. <laughs> oh, um, Minifig Chick says 541 for each um, uh, reindeer, so only $49. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Hmm. All right. Why are there two by two tan and dark tan plates out front? You know what? I don't remember what that's for. I can't remember uh, what those are supposed to be. But I love Mrs. Mrs. Claus has an awesome outfit, which you could actually find for a while. Um. Oh, listen to this. Here we go. Mr. Hankel Draw says they did have a Rudolph in this set. And it got slapped with copyright infringement in legal review. Rudolph is copyrighted and Lego didn't want to pay up. Wow, can you imagine? Well, I can't blame Lego because I'm not gonna I wouldn't want to pay out a bunch of money just to put a red one by one, you know, round plate on the end of a reindeer. Like I get it. I mean, I don't know what how much it was, but yikes. Um Yeah, I um that's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. 
All right. Thanks, Rob. We're getting all the inside scoop from, from Kevin today. I'm loving it. This is awesome. Um, oh, uh, Joel, you know, that's very possible. Um, that's very, very possible. Very cool. All right. So, moving on. Okay, now we want to talk about controversy, Kevin. <laughs> so, um, in 2015, they reissued the toy shop, much to the consternation of many people. <laughs> um, I... Uh, I know that this was, uh, I, I know that this, this is the toy shop I have too, uh, actually. Um, so I know that this is the one that broke the system. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that people, this, so this was right around when we were starting in the hobby. Um, this would have been, yeah, 2015. And we did, we did buy this um, because we were really, really excited about it. And I have to say, is, I mean, I know the other day we were talking about reissues and reissues and reissues. I mean, but this, of course, isn't the, you know, the seventh Millennium Falcon, right? Like, this is a reissue of one, um, set. But for, I can, I get why people who've been collecting them for a long time were probably upset and, like, I really wanted something new this side. Um, uh, but I was thrilled that I was going to be able to actually have this. So I'm, you know, I, I wasn't mad about it. I gotta say. Um, but you can see that there are some, there are some differences in the original. Now I've got the original over here and I just want to, I will point out some of the differences cause I don't actually have a side by side to show you. Um, but the, um, the, so if you see the green sort of a garland that is, um, at the top of the roof there, Hey Bell, Hey Bell, thanks for liking the stream. Good to see you. Um, oh my goodness. You know what y'all it is. Nobody reminded me. It's it's okay, Hornburgers. You're actually just in time. We were getting ready to discuss the differences between the two toy shops, and I just realized that we've like completely blown past a um, the the arguably best part of our show. All right, everybody, uh, make sure and <laughs> strap yourselves in, cause it's. Come on, buddy, over here. Yay, Logan, hi. Everybody was waiting to see you. We were just waiting for the Hornburgers arrive, to arrive before we did this. Here we go. Very good. <laughs> Yay, Andrew is coming running for LCT. What a good boy, what a good boy. Let's have one more. Can you get it? Good boy, yay, Logan. What a good boy. What a good boy. And I'm going to put the lid on so that you know that it's over. It's Logan cookie time. <laughs> awesome. All right. I can't believe we just, we were so, so into talking about these, uh, these sets here. So let's head back on over here. Okay. So we were discussing the differences. So the, um, the, the garland was gray in the original. The reeds that you see, which are those sort of like, um, you know, rescue rings uh, that they're using here, were actually two by two round plates in the originals um, with, a, you know, the red dot there for the holly. Um, there are some more toys included, it looks like, in this particular one. But for the most part, oh, and there's a lot of new uh, printed minifigure bodies. So the two kids who are skiing, I'm actually looking over here. Originally, they were just plain. One, the girl had a plain red torso. The guy had an orange torso with gray arms. And here they've actually got like winter printed clothes on them, uh, which I think is really cool. Um, we've got the same uh, setup for the... Um, for the Jester Jack in the Box. However, the original was red and blue, while this one is orange and blue. All right. And the um, the guy who is decorating the, we got the same guy doing the, the, um, the snowman. And instead of a brick built bear, we have an actual bear. <laughs> and this crate with the letters and packages in it is new as well. All right. So those are some of the those are some of the main differences. For the most part, 
it looks to be mostly the same, but those are kind of uh, the differences. And um, the, oh, and it looks like the original had white clips that held on the lights on the Christmas tree, while this one uh, has gold. All right, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna close this. All right, just so, so those are some of the main differences between the two, and it did cause quite an uproar when it happened. Personally, I'm glad that I got my hands on it, all right? So, there you go. All right, so, Albert Lee says, it's okay to have two toy shops in the same village. Lego City has like 50 police stations. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, moving along. Okay, then, because the first reissue wasn't like controversial enough now kevin you can tell me was this one controversial as well i'm going to imagine that it probably was um this is um a reissue or a redo um of the lego holiday train now this one is actually significantly different from the original um and i'm gonna i'm gonna real quick uh, for me, I'm going to pop up a picture of that original uh, one so that we can kind of look at the differences between them. Um, so some of the differences I'm noticing right away is there's an uh, the new one is highly upgraded. Um, it has the new one has a cow catcher. It has red wheels. It has the giant red um, the red spoke wheels on the back. Um, Oh, Mr. Hinkledraw says, that set sparked weeks worth of internal debates on the definition of the terms re-release and reissue versus redesigned versus a hundred other PR marketing terms. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Um, but this one, I would say this one is significantly upgraded. All right, this one is significantly upgraded from the original, where the toy shop was really sort of more slight tweaks this one is significantly upgraded um this one has a green roof the original has a black roof it has red windows instead of black windows hi honey hi we um, we know where the lights are gonna go now we do yep oh hi. um logan is welcoming me back oh hi <laughs> baby <laughs> okay 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 um okay so uh, this one also some more differences. These uh, the the um, the tender car has white branches on it instead of green. And then here's where it starts to get really different. Instead of a passenger car, we have a car with a spinning Christmas tree, and there was gearing inside that would turn. Oh. Um, and so when it was going around the track it would spin around. Because you can tell they've used the, the train wheels that take an axle. Yeah. That's, that's how they transfer the power, right? Right, right. And then the, um, the, so really, you know, you could call this a reissue or, but really it's more of a redesign and a complete facelift. Um, I, I think it's a, it's multiple steps up. I love, oh, yes, I love many, the original many. one. This is the one that I want to build. Well, and you're also talking about, this is 10 years between the original yeah. was in 2006, and this is 2016. Yep. Right? Well, you know, when, when you think about how long Lego has been in existence, I feel like that 10 years has been an explosive period for design and detail. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know if they changed plans or what, or maybe it's just that I'm only checked in in the last few years, but it seems like, you know, really, they're up in their game a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, you could... Um, Wilfred asks, can you link the two trains together? Is it the same system? Now, I'm looking at the original, and I well, can't look, tell... They've got, they've got the, the magnetic train Right, know, but I'm not, I'm not sure if this is a 9-volt, um, like uh, and this one might be different. I'm, not, I'm actually not yeah. positive about that, but that's I don't, interesting. Is this... The one we're looking at yes, right now is not volt. motorized, is it? No, this one does not. A, I don't believe this one's a nine volt. But you could maybe. You oh, could, they're both unpowered, says Brickworm. Okay, very so you good. could maybe um, in that coal car or the caboose, you could put a um, you could put a battery pack for yeah. powered up, right? So no tender. 
Sorry, I mean, you mean the tender? Because we tender? have to say it right. We oh, that's right. right, tender. Now. We know people who have ridden the tender. You um, could maybe put a motor inside the the locomotive and the battery inside the tender. Or, or yeah, cruise. absolutely. Um, so actually, um, Mini Hitchcock says this new one is power functions. So I guess maybe this already is power functions. But Oh, that's great. I wonder where they hid the stuff. But I find it interesting that there's no um, passenger car. It just seems like a... Uh, an interesting difference. And once again, a different lamppost design. This one, not so interesting as some of the past oh, ones. Now I, I want it. Now I want to do a deep dive into lampposts. <laughs> Would I be the only one who's interested in Maraid that? Maraid sure is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying before. We need to do a whole show just on lampposts. Well, it's like I discovered when we saw that Art Deco show that, that coffee and tea sets mm -hmm. are like you can apply any design style to them, so they're a great mark for design over time. I mean, yeah. Lego the same way. Okay, so this was 2016. Uh, so the following year, we get the train station, the Winter Village Station, it's called. Not just the And the Magic station. Holiday School Bus. And, <laughs> true. Um, so we have another, uh, yeah, a little sort of like bus that takes you to the train station, I guess. Came with a little bit of track. And of course, this is building on from the year before. So you could add these on, uh, you know, you could add this one on. Well, it seems like they're really thinking that you're going to buy these year after year and they're all going to live together is why the color palettes are so different. Like, again, this is sand green and butterscotch. And brown, yeah. Brown. Now, what is well, that? It's like the lighter brown. Yeah. Um, I would totally listen to a TED talk from Richard about Lego lamp post evolution. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get my cadence right if I'm going to do a TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> Start sounding a little more NPR. Exactly. Um, I mean, not that TED is NPR, but but it has a vibe, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, John Luttrell says it's very similar to the Hidden Side train and station. It is, it is a similar, yes. Um, oh, I like the snow puddles, the sort of icy puddles going over the edge of the platform there. Yeah, like and the this teeth. and this has got the. Well, I do love that bus. Like this, the, it's such a cute little again vintage, very vintage style with the rounded car, like thing in the front. You know, the the little front grill. Um, it's a really cute, it's just a cute build all around. And I love the corner presented building, which is something we haven't seen a whole lot of, right? Whenever I see, whenever I see a rack on the roof of a vehicle like that, I want to put Granny Clampett in a, in a rocket. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Kevin says, just make sure you start by asking the audience to raise their hand if they've seen a Lego lamppost. <laughs> because audience engagement it's true it's totally audience true. engagement <laughs> raise your hand if you've seen a lego lamppost <laughs> i'm raising my hand and you can't see me but that's okay oh my goodness bye cornado we'll see you later and then this is a slightly different lamppost that has the wreaths on it um what i'm sorry what now yet another slightly different lamp post because it has wreaths on it well this is the same this is the same lamp post design that was included in the train you see? oh including including the wreath You're including right. the wreath um so this was a this was an instance where they didn't change it although if you look if you look at that one it's got gold bits on it on the sides that this one doesn't have look at that yeah it's it's a gold mine, a gold mine of detail, <laughs> a literal gold mine. Um, so yeah, well, this was again um, 2017 Lego Winter Village Station with or, a with another cool clock face. Yeah, and I really, I oh yeah, we have a much better clock face here uh, than we've gotten for some of the other ones. They've they've moved from like the old original mm -hmm. uh, kind into the new one. Hey, Bricks O'Brien is here. How's it going, man? Great to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Um, are we getting a lamppost tier list by the end of this? <laughs> we could. It's, this has now become the discussion. Is like it's turned into a lamppost discussion. Well, I think we're going to do a whole show just on the evolution of the Lego lamppost, and posts. not just holiday lampposts. No we got city. We got all kinds Black of Tron. Oh my goodness! There's so many. Does Blacktron have lampposts? Well, they got a C, right? Do they have infravision? Well, no, but they everything glows. <laughs> so oh, it's I true. Too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. So let us uh, let us move on. All right. So train station. So next up, 
we went from the train to now this one is really kind of going to a, a uh, a little different place. They're expanding the Winter Village. Now we're getting something more akin to a, um, a city set. We have a fire station. Now, I think this is delightful. I love that it has broken the mold of pointy roofs with snow on them. Like, there's still snow everywhere. You can still tell it's, um, it's, a, it's a winter scene, but they've gone a little bit more... Well, they, no. d they decorated the black steps. There's a sort of semi-melting snowman. And you gotta love white elves fences. Indeed. Oh, and Bricks O'Brien says, I like the toy shop ones the most, the double rounded bubble ones. Yes, those were those are our favorite as well. I love those. Okay, my number one, guess my number one favorite piece in this set. Just see if you can guess it. Your favorite piece? In this set. Mm, the How about Clicky? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What is it? Gold fireman's helmet. Oh, the gold fireman's helmets. I'm pretty enamored with that saxophone, actually. That's a pretty cool piece. And Oh yeah, is that Duke Silver? Um, it's totally Duke Silver. <laughs> it looks like Duke Silver. And um this came with a Dalmatian. And if you look at this. Look, there's a baby. It came with a baby in an aqua uh, onesie with a snowflake Is on it. Is that Super Sparkle Baby? It's a Super Snowflake Baby. Oh, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and and there's probably a lot of different um, Lego uh, fire hydrant designs as well. Here's one. Oh yeah, them. yeah. Oh, and so and now you can see that they've now they're using those three leaf pieces to make a little holly. And I'm sad to say, a kind of lackluster lamp post. And you can you'll see that they have now switched over to the official lamppost piece. Not uh, they have not yep. brick built the lamppost. It is just a lamp. Well, I mean they have the top part obviously, but well, there's two great features on this that I love, and mm -hmm. I think I'm going to use in other sets. Um, will you zoom back into the front of the fire station? I would love to. Okay, so flanking the beautiful red door entrance are those two very narrow columns done mm -hmm. with posts. Mm -hmm. I love that on either side. And they're using the one by two rounded plate, yep. right, to tie those together. I think that's a beautiful detail. And then check out, am I understanding correctly? That, what are they using up at the cornice? Are those... Are those grills turned sideways? What's Where the, are we looking the at? tiny like egg and dart detail at the top of the cornice there? Those on, look underneath like the clips. Bell. Those no. look like one by one um, upward facing clips with a ledge. Maybe with, with a, a ledge, ledge underneath coming out. of them. Well, it's yeah, a really it's nice fine detail, and there's a silver bell. Yeah, I really. Um, oh, Mayfield Chick says this needs to be rebuilt as to the Disneyland Fire Station. Ooh, I agree. Yes. Um, and oh, so check it out. Yeah, we've also got a um, another ice skating rink of sorts, but this guy's playing ice hockey on it. And then there's like a statue of a fireman with a little, yeah. you know, little water coming out of it. And now, interestingly, That's their version of the uh, the Viennese boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then this one, uh, you'll notice that the tree is done sideways, like a, it, it's done with wedges sideways rather than um, built in the other ways we've seen oh, some of yeah. them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. I like this set a lot. Yeah. And it also, it has that little blue, like, scooter thing. Yeah, which reminds me car. of making all the toys for the Taker Waker's house on Lego Masters. Oh, yes. Oh, and I love, too, that the, um, that the, um, these guys, the firemen, come with hair to go on them. Well, they're not at work all the time. Um, and I know that the that the that the lady fire person is like, I don't need a helmet. <laughs> I know she's because I've got this awesome flip. Like... She's totally Dana Scully. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice roof line, a nice, very different looking. Oh, and once again, if you look on the sides of the building, there's your uh, paint, paint roller pieces again, right? Very cool. All right. Cool. All right, so that was... A bunch was... of little vehicles in these sets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't even talk about the the, the vintage fire truck. Uh, fire truck. Oh, my goodness. With those cool wheels, which I really love. It's a great... And it looks actually a, to be a similar design to some of those other ones, like using those curved pieces as wheel wells. 
And it's all, all of this is sort of vintage tugging at the heartstrings, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Oh, sorry. I just got a, I just got an email that my, um, one of my commission boxes has been delivered. Yay. Thank goodness. You can relax. <sighs> one half the weight has come off. All right. So I bet Marilyn Parmley knows someone who would really like this set. You know, and you know what else we could do too, is we could do, uh, maybe we could do a, um, on the history of Lego bench design. There's <laughs> like a bench in every single one of these sets. What are we sets. having a new... Although I think that they're all exactly feature. the same. I don't know how much patience I would have for benches. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Too much. Look at that. We just got, we've just got 36 more shows. I, I know. Thank goodness. Um, okay. This is from 2019. Now this one's going back out into the world of fantasy. So we had the Santa's, uh, workshop and then everything else was kind of more either a train or an actual like real life place. But this is the gingerbread house and it came with so many adorable pieces. It has the gingerbread lady, gingerbread man, and there's actually a gingerbread baby that is, that is printed on a tile. Wait, she has a... She has a gingerbread skirt. She does have a gingerbread and, skirt. Okay, I dare anyone to make a smaller believable bassinet than that. That's pretty, That's pretty cool. good. That's a really, really great piece, and I love the color. And you know, do you notice that there's something, two things, uh, that we don't see in this one that we usually see in some of the other ones? Do we know what that is? Uh, we don't see an animal. Uh, sure, oh, sure. Okay, sure. Three. No lamp post. No lamp post and no bench. <laughs> and then for anyone who's building these countdown calendar pieces, check out all those little toys. That rocking horse is so cute. Yeah, and this is one that I have to say I'm really, really sad that I missed out on. This was one that um, that I really, really wanted and, didn't, and we didn't end up getting. Um, I, I just sometimes I have a trouble sometimes justifying the price tag for something that I know I'm just going to put in a box and only pull out once a year. Yep. So sometimes, um, you know, and also, you know, I, you know, I bet it, because did I just interrupt you? I think no, I interrupted that's you. Fine. No, you paused. <laughs> um, I bet Zonker Harris would really like that little locomotive. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's a pretty tiny little train there. Oh, it's still available this winter? Ooh, I like that. And I, I will note as well that when you live in a gingerbread house, you have to keep the fireplace outside. I know. Because <laughs> you want to be inside. Um, the... <laughs> But I just, I love the roof treatment on this is beautiful. I love the the use of the white curves. Um, so did I miss you say this? Is is Gingerbread Man holding his baby in one hand but while using a snowblower in the other? He is, in fact, just holding this baby by the side. <laughs> well, she's a cookie. All right. <laughs> it's, it's true. Um... It's oh, a two-sided two fireplace. Two fireplace. Oh, I love that. So you can stay warm outside too. Um, yeah, really cool. Uh, will be will we be talking about the gift with purchase? Not on this show. We're gonna we have believe me, like with actually all of these, we had enough to fill a whole show just talking about these. Um, but maybe we will do that on a subsequent show. If this is something, by the way, if this is something y'all are interested in, we would be more than happy to do more shows like this. Yeah, the, like the history of so and so. Yeah, because I th I had thought about doing like a history of Belleville at one point, like just like looking at the different Belleville sets and stuff like that. So if this is something that you um if, it, that you are a fan of and would find interesting, let us know in the chat and we will put it on the docket of yeah, uh, can, things that would be interesting to do shows on. We can research it. Yeah, do all the things. Um. After the light, sh the lamp post show, yes, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> you know, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, in addition to being a lighting designer, I'm really, really into light bulbs and lighting fixtures. And this thing back there is a Victorian age glass front cabinet behind mm -hmm. a bunch of Lego right now, <laughs> filled with hundreds of antique light bulbs. Um, so I love the old lighting stuff. Yeah, indeed you do. <laughs> <laughs> Older the better. That's why you like me. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, 
Oh, yeah, Minifig Chick. If you go to downtown San Francisco and buy that and they've got two, pick one up. I'll pay you for it because I want this in my in my village. Is um, that your I'm getting Lego sound? That is. <laughs> that's the I'm getting Lego and you can't say anything about it. I'm not. <laughs> See, that's all he has to do is mention it on live international television. <laughs> Um, okay. Hey, Wyatt, good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Um, yeah, I like the, uh, also it says I like the, the gingerbread house, but I prefer the, the real world Christmas sets. Yeah, I like those too. Um, I really, I love, I mean, Ooh. I like them both. I like, I like, like playing both, both ends of that. Flynn, what is the star on top of the Christmas tree? That okay, so that's interesting. That is these. There's these little diamond-shaped tiles now. They used them in the hidden side sets, and that is a plate, of, a two by two plate with them all pointed inwards, and they all fit together, and it made that nice pointy thing. Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm behind the times. Yeah, it's really really cool. And then does it say it says like Candy Lane or something? Yeah, something. I'm sure. Let's take a look. Let's get a little. Let's get a little closer look. Candy Lane. Um, okay, if there was never a reason to buy this, this is absolutely okay, a reason to buy it. Sparkles. Purple glitter windows, y'all, with pink in between. I am 100% about this. <laughs> um, really, really cute. And, of course, we will be on this show putting together the, uh, the micro version of this, which I'm excited about. Well, the the thin plate detail on the front edges of the roofs are my favorite architectural detail of this set. The, well, there's just there's that, that thin black and line like reverse Oreo cookie. Yeah. Hey, the Griebling Wizard. Welcome. How's it going? What a great name. I know. I love that. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, it's a really um, it's really 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 fun. I'm I'm just uh, there's a there's a lot to really like about this. I love the different style. Um, the different the snow coming off the top of the windowsills and the dormers, like all of it is just and, really, um, really fun. And even a nod to Tudor there, sort of like gingerbread Tudor. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Very nice. And the and oh, I just noticed the sort of like sandwiched line. That's with what the I was brown. saying about the reverse, the oh, reverse Oreo cookie. Oh, I understand. I understand. Sorry, I was I didn't really quite catch that double stuff on the outside. <laughs> Um, okay, so that was so that was last year's. Fun. That was the gingerbread, uh, the gingerbread house. And then pulling into the station, if you will, uh, the final, chugga, chugga, the, chugga, chugga. the final one is the Elf Clubhouse. Now this, uh oh, we got this brickstone design here. Yeah, this this one really suddenly like upgraded the whole Winter Village experience. It's the Winter Village UCS. <laughs> <laughs> it's true it is kind of that um <coughs> well the photography they've definitely upped their game with <clears throat> photography and lighting yeah right and and talk about pro oh wow that okay that reindeer yeah we were talking about like that earlier dad from rudolph it does kind of look like the dad from he just no and it looks like also like the coach from rudolph he needs the baseball yeah. cap um, but yeah, so you can see that they've done some amazing upgrade. Like they have just, this is a huge upgrade, um, I think. And, uh, Chief Brick Geek, yes, by Chris McVeigh, who, uh, also, aka Power oh. Pig online, who's done so many amazing things. Well, check out the rounded door for one thing. The rounded door is really cool. Um, and I want to point out some other really highly upgraded things. The wreath made out of the one by two plate with the rounded corners. Yep, with the tombstone bricks in red. Yeah, with with tombstone bricks in red, and then the lights are are the candles. Yeah, that's what that is. With the rounded sort of like light, we call them light bright pegs on the front. A big huge improvement to the to the lights that they usually have, right? Yep, and then that that beam detail around the outside of the wreath and window is great. The offset that's curve with tiles. What are we looking this, up here? Yeah, the offset curve with tiles in brown around the window is really such a beautiful detail. And then the really steep roof that you always love. Yeah, I really, um, I, I just, I think that they have um, really upgraded the 
the various little details of it. Okay, you know what else they get points for? What's I mean, that? they're the designers, so who am I to give them points? But my goodness, that dormer with the angled plates is a great idea. Oh, oh, Wilford points out the lights are clips, not the candles. You're right, it's that piece that we talk about a lot. It's the clip that has oh. the little, that fits a pinhole in the end of it. The one, they're using that a lot right. now. A stick hole, yeah, you're right, you're right. But either way, it's still yeah. a great upgrade to the to the older ones. Much more realistic, I think. Have you ever seen a dormer window done with angled plates like that it's um, a really nice design it's a tight fit it's a tight fit it looks pretty cool um oh and look the did you see the vintage computer <laughs> in the back oh that's great which is actually one of chris's trademarks um when he was building his own stuff um he did a whole series of different little um little old style computers that was like his thing and i really love and you can't see it well because it's against the dark background but that is, is it a pirate ship or it like is a, a pirate it's ship. a sail ship, right? Yeah, um, the the pirate ship, and then the um, the star on top of the Christmas tree. They've used that big star piece that they uh, uh, I think they introduced with the Lego Movie yeah. Two set. And Brickmaster Amy would be very excited to see the story element. I think um, the story element added with the elf with the telescope. Oh, the, yeah, that's delightful. I love the the little, and yeah, so Elf Clubhouse. And there's that reindeer that we were talking about earlier that it would only cost you $50, apparently, to purchase from, from Bricks and Pieces oh, my all of the reindeer together, 50 bucks. So there you go. Yeah, and then they've done they've done something nice with a snot piece to attach the, the harness, you know, is, which is yes. just a chain on the side of the deer. Yep, yep, yep. Um... Yeah, the the computer and the ship are both really good. They're, they're really, really fun little micro builds. And look, we have the return of the vintage Lego tree in there as well. Great. The, the, the small version of it. And I love, I don't know why, but I love this little snow detail on the windowsill. It's just, yeah, it's clever and Small fun. and perfect. So I can't tell looking at this. I'd have to look really close. Mm -hmm. The dark green tiles that are on the front of the upper part of the building you know outside of that brown detail and sort of see underneath the roof oh, yeah. on, on either side yeah. well how are they doing tiles on an angle those like are, that i don't think those are tiles those are those are just oh, are those the sides of slopes is what we're I seeing i think so yeah oh <laughs> Maraid, the best part of this is no elf on the shelf <laughs> exactly <laughs> Oh, and apparently inside um, there are there tall, are tall slopes. slopes. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, tall good. slopes and dark green. Gimme! Um, I just want to make elf dresses out of those. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah. They'd be tall elves. Um, so, um, really, uh, sorry. What were we just? We were just talking about a little detail, and I you got said no, no elf on a shelf. You said the window snow oh, detail was nice. Waffle maker. So you can see that this little elf in the front is carrying a tiny waffle. Um, and apparently inside in the fireplace there's a waffle maker like a waffle maker well, thing now did the waffle get introduced in the stranger things set that waffle was a two by two tile and this waffle is a one by one tile oh. so yeah right i'm the uh, you know did better more. watch out elf 11's gonna be mad <laughs> I know, just you don't want to see 11 when she's mad <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that is so that's well, that our sort fun. of like yeah, our sort of like brief history of um you know what we could fit into an hour of um Lego Winter Village sets. Um and as you know, as um um Joel mentioned earlier, there was also a whole slew of you know like side sets and all and all that kind of stuff uh, that you could uh, that you could get um including these ones that we showed earlier, mm -hmm. um, this Christmas tree, uh, and I don't even remember what year this was, but there's this Christmas tree, and this has actually got some really cool pieces in it, like all of these round pieces for the bulbs. Oh, um, and I'll show all you those back. colors. Look at all that, all those, all those little um, round bits. You could do a balls. tiny GVC. Yeah. No, I guess they wouldn't roll very well. No, I don't think so. This was last year, says Debo. Okay, very good. Yeah, I don't. Um, oh, I with another remember. with a micro monorail, and I believe this turns as well. The Chris, this this spins around, right? Winter Village Hospital. 
I think it should be a Winter Village gingerbread hospital. And then they can have, like, you know, little icing bags to help, like, put the legs back on. (laughs) And then if you don't like what they bring you on your tray, you could just break off a part of the wall and... Yeah, so we'll probably put this together next week, like maybe uh, maybe on Monday or something along those lines. Um, Fun. Yeah, and then we also have the um, a- again the the gift with purchase mini gingerbread house, and then we have the Santa and Mrs. Claus brickheads, which reminds me. <laughs> Which reminds me, funny oh, how that is, isn't it? Um, we have an upcoming challenge. Now we talked earlier about the challenge that we're doing uh, this week, the holiday, uh, uh, the countdown calendar challenge. Um, you can get all the information on trickybricks.com. Your images are due tomorrow at five. Uh, don't forget. Um, also, if you, uh, oh, but I was segueing. You, you almost had a perfect segue. I was almost there, but you segued um, out of it. I know, and now I forgot what the segue was. Oh, yes, Our we challenge. are doing we are doing a challenge in the future, probably in January. Um, we're going to do another rebrick challenge, and mm-hmm. the set we're using this time is the child, the Mandalorian and child. Okay, I put the who should have been first first. The child and the Mandalorian. Um, it's a twenty dollars set. Um, if you cannot afford the set and you want to participate, there's two things you can do. One of them is you can use uh, BrickLink Studio. You can actually in bring in that particular set. If you need to know how to do that, you can go check out our BrickLink Studio uh, uh, tutorial that we did with Christopher Coster. It'll show you how to do that. There's, the other option is you can email us, and we will send you one. There's three options. Oh, there's three. There's a third. Yep. Yeah, you can build a render in Studio. You can download the instructions for it mm-hmm. and build it out of your own bricks. There's that. Yep. Or we'll send you one. There you go. So if you want to, uh, if you need us to send you one, um, please only ask us to send you one if you plan on participating uh, in the challenge, if you would. Um, but we, we will offer that out to anybody who, who wants one. And you can get it most places. I understand it's um, sold out in a few places in Europe. But... Um, you can email me, or actually, you can find us on Instagram. I have to do the, the spiel at, uh, at Tricky Bricks. If you want to email me, you can do that at Flynn at trickybricks.com. Just make sure and send me your mailing address. And then if you want to send us something through snail mail, you can do so. Flynn Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. Soon to change, probably in January, so yep. that we get away from the horrifying post office that is our post office. Yeah. Um, so, uh, gosh, so yeah, that's Dear the challenge. Dear Bricks, care of the North Pole. Exactly. So now we have, um, so we have the challenge slideshow tomorrow, uh, or no, Friday. Friday. The challenge. Yeah, we're not here tomorrow. Friday. We're not here tomorrow. You're right. I'm so out of it. I'm still like, still like getting back into the habit of things now that we've gotten back and then we went to a new software for our Sunday shows and all that kind of stuff. So, oh my goodness. <sighs> well, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. We had a really good time. We hope you did too. Um, to, uh, looking, um, yes, we will definitely forward. Don't worry, Debo. Um, uh, we, we hope that you had a really good time uh, checking out these uh, Lego holiday winter village sets uh, along with us. It was a fun little history lesson and we had a lot of cool stuff to talk about. And you again, know. if this is something, sorry, again, if this is something that you enjoyed, please let us know in the chat. Like, I don't know, thumbs up or a smiley face or whatever in the chat so we know that um, this is something that you'd like to see us do again. You know, it occurs to me too, um, I don't know, we haven't we haven't talked about this and mm-hmm. I don't know if it would make a lot of processing for you, mm-hmm. but um, people celebrate the holidays lots of different ways and yep. no matter how you celebrate the holidays, I hope Lego's involved. And if you have Lego models that are involved in your celebration of the holidays and you want to send us a photo of that, yeah. we can show those. We want to share your special builds. Please do, please do. That's something that we can maybe do. Um, any holiday builds that you've built, we can show on a separate, do like a separate slideshow show. Yeah, I think it would be fun. Um, oh yes, lots of people seem very interested in this his- these history lessons. So oh, that's fun. awesome. That's Yay. good to know. I think that'd be fun. Oh, the history of elves will be 
We... <laughs> and so, like, I'm all ready now to do the history of elves sets. We um, try, when there's time outside of Logan Cookie time, we try to bring you content. We, we try. try to bring you some some information sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Marilyn. Uh, by the way, we are doing a subscriber drive. We're trying to get the 2,000 subscribers. We've been stuck at 1920 for for weeks now, so we want to get more subscribers. Um, and if you uh, uh, if we get to 2,000 subscribers, when we get to 2,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away the Monkey Kid Monkey King Warrior Mech. Wow, I said it without you got up. all of Amazing. it. Amazing. It's because um, I didn't try and help. It's an incredible. <laughs> It's an incredible <laughs> set. Hang on one second. Um, we got a couple things on top of it over here. Yeah, some random... You know how it is. Like the Legos fall in the autumn and winter. This is what we are going to be giving away for our big 2,000 subscribers. Look how big it is. It's huge. It's, full it's of so fun. It's so huge I have to stand up. All right. So tell your friends, let's get the 2,000 subscribers so we can get this set out of our house. <laughs> <laughs> just been sitting around for a while and actually if we can get to the 2,000 subscribers and get that one we have a really super special one for when we get to 3,000 subscribers crazy it's a crazy one I'll tell yeah. you that so all right well uh great thanks everybody so much for joining us today we will be back on Friday at 10 a.m. with the slideshow of all of your countdown calendar builds uh, don't forget, if you belt. want all the information about that, you can find it at trickybricks.com. Um, also, uh, but under 20 pieces, right? Uh, uh, 20 or yeah, under. 20 or under pieces. Um, all the, excuse me, all the rules are laid out for you there. Also, coming up, take a look for an article by Minifig Chick on trickybricks.com, all about Bricks LA and what oh, Tricky yay. Bricks, yeah, and what Tricky Bricks slash Tricky Lug is doing. Uh, you know, for Bricks LA and what the different uh, mini builds are and stuff like that. So there's lots of good information on there. So she uh, introduced take a look us at. to Bricks LA. She did. It's true. Yep, she and Paint Pusher. So, um, all right. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, we had a great time. This was such a good, a good show. I love, I love just like talking about Lego, right? Like giving my opinion. I was, I was gonna <laughs> say on the Tricky Bricks build in chat, you get, you get some smiles some dog cookies, some good information, and a lot of opinions. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. All right, everybody. We will see you on Friday at 10 a.m. And until then, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, get that flu shot, and we will see you next time. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Happy building.